Hey everybody, this is Lincoln. Thanks for listening. I'm the husband of Christine Carroll, six star qualifying beach body coach, and I wanted to do a quick video on becoming an engaged husband or boyfriend. First of all, there's a difference between being an unengaged and being unsupportive. Let's quickly deal with a truly unsupportive first. I'm not here to judge, but if you have a wife and your wife is passionate about something, even beach body, then why on earth would you not want to support your wife? You love her, right? So if you literally can't support your wife, then you probably need to be, speak, be speaking with somebody a lot better trained than I am. So let's move on to the unengaged, which I think is the real, uh, real category that I hear a lot about, meaning that you support her and you let her do her thing, but you don't get involved. I can understand this, and this was really me for the past few years until recently. I happily let her do her thing, figuring that if, I, if it kept her busy, gave her a purpose, made her a few extra bucks, then what could be so wrong with that? I didn't really have anything to do with the business, and when she wanted to add me as a coach, I figured that, hey, it's extra income. She was making decent money, so I didn't complain. It wasn't until about six months ago when she asked me to watch two short videos that things really changed for me. It took about a week or so before I got around to it, but once I watched, it was like a smack in the face, and I realized that I could actually add value to her business. I didn't know exactly how, but now I saw this is something that could be run as a real business. It wasn't just being on Facebook all day, posting, chatting, talking to people on the phone, but it was a real business. I'm not good at any of those other things. I don't even, you know, not good at social media, Facebook. Um, don't know how to do those, um, but I do know business. Basically, what I've done is become the head of, head of finance, strategy, operations, and even a personal uh, post office. I'm still learning, and I have to humble myself almost daily and ask her for help. I don't always understand how things apply, and we have to work together as a team. It's actually become quite exciting for me as I'm learning, watching more people become engaged, and seeing the positive impact she's having on so many lives. I see how much her time is worth, and a lot of times she's busiest in the mornings, the evenings, when I'm at home. So what do I do? I do things I never thought I would do as a husband, um, based on how I grew up, but I'll do laundry load the dishwasher for um, and even do a lot of her coach tracking, customer tracking. I download her customer list for her email campaigns and some of the basic tasks that aren't value add for her business, but take her away from the real value she can add. So anyway, you can see that I'm pretty engaged, uh, but enough about me. I wanted to talk about others uh, and reasons why some of you might be unengaged. Um, a few of them that I can think of, you know, mine was the first, uh, whereas I think it's fine for her, but it's just not my thing. Two, I'm too busy to get involved to help. Three, uh, I think it's a pyramid, or even worse, a pyramid scheme. <clears throat> so first of all, if you think it's fine for her, but it's just not your thing, I'd recommend thinking about that. If it's her thing and she's passionate about it, then even if you don't want to be a coach or be into it, couldn't you at least support her and find ways to encourage her? I mean, fashion isn't my thing, but when Christine asked me which shoes I like better, I at least care and offer her my truly uneducated opinion. Not because shoes are my thing or I care about them, but because she is my thing and I care about her. Okay, second, what if you're too busy? What does that actually mean? Are you too busy to show interest in your wife's passion? Too busy to help her? Okay, maybe you actually are super busy. Maybe you work 12 hour days, you work seven days a week, you've got a monster commute, you travel all week. Um, I would just ask to see if you could squeeze in a few minutes a day Listen to a podcast, watch a YouTube video that helps her, or during, you know, do those during your commute. Skip, skip your TV show one night, or even while you're at dinner with her, ask her a few questions, show some interest. Um, just do something, anything. All right, lastly, let's assume you're one of those guys that thinks Beachbody is a pyramid, or even worse, a pyramid scheme. <clears throat> Step back from that and ask yourself, what does that really mean? Is it a pyramid? Of course it is. So is every other company I know. Any organization that has a CEO is a pyramid. He's at the top, reporting to him, it is the CFO, the COO, the CMO, the CIO, and on and on. Under them are a bunch of senior VPs. Below them, even more VPs. Under them, a bunch of directors, the managers, and on and on and on. So yeah, it's a pyramid. We all work for pyramids, with a few exceptions maybe. But do you think it's a scheme? So ask yourself why. How did that thought even get into your head? And what does it mean? Personally, I look at the positive impact that she and her business is having on other people's lives and has had on her own, own life and how it turned her life around. I see a real income that's growing and I see a residual income that's going to be there for a long, long time. 
as well as the healthy impact it's had on my life and her life. Um, and I can't see for the life of me any possible way that somebody would actually, who thought about it, would consider this to be a scheme. If anything, it's the opposite. In my job, I work really hard and I get paid, but my boss makes a lot more money than I do from the efforts that I do all day long and every day. In Beachbody, you can make as much as you want and it's a lot more than people above you, people way above you. So if you're unengaged for a different reason, that I'm not talking about, I haven't thought about, then let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I, I want to listen to your thoughts. Maybe I can help you, maybe I can't, but at least listen, educate me on what you're thinking. So to wrap up, let's assume now that you want to become a supportive and actively engaged husband. How do you do that? First, one thing that I've done and I would recommend to you uh, is finding a specific podcast. It's from Shailene Johnson's Build Your Tribe it's a podcast series. It's called How to Be a Supportive Partner. Her husband, Brett, does this one, and he explains five steps to becoming a supportive partner. One, ask what you can do to be helpful right now. Two, be patient. Don't keep asking, when are you gonna make money? Why are you always on your phone? Three, be positive. Four, be supportive publicly. And five, communicate. You gotta communicate, tell her what you're thinking, and listening to what she has to say. Um, if you really wanna show your lover and support her and wanna be engaged, take the 15 minutes Find that listen to that podcast and do something. There's a lot more I can recommend, all kinds of videos um, that I've watched that have helped, but start with that one. Bottom line is this, work on yourself and help her. <clears throat> Don't sit there and let her be passionate about something that you refuse to care about. It can only become a good thing for both, and it'll pay dividends down the road. I don't pretend to be a marriage counselor, but think about this. If you show interest in what interests her, how can that possibly be a bad thing? If anything, take a chance and see if she might pay you back in some other way. Once again, this is Lincoln. Thanks for listening.